Well, good Monday afternoon to y'all. It's me, it's Dan. I wanna welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Lord have mercy. I got a, I got a sweatshirt on today. It's like cold. Uh, it's probably in the, I don't know, upper 50s, maybe now, nah, maybe middle 60s. But you know what? Anything below 70s is cold, uh, southern boy, right? <laughs> but y'all, I got down this weekend and I'm gonna show you what I did and we're gonna rock on from there because i think you're gonna like it i know i sure as heck did so give me a second and we finna go look at it all right y'all look what i done did i went ahead and built a 16 by 16 goat pen uh using cattle panels and three and a half by I believe these are eight foot poles and it's a just a 16 by 16 enclosure it's pretty cool got the cattle panel and I attached the t-pole kind of like towards the middle now what I will tell you is I was planning on recording uh, me doing this this little project here but it rained pretty much on and off all weekend uh, Saturday it rained a little bit uh, in the morning and it rained a little bit in the afternoon and it sure enough rained on Sunday so I didn't want to get all the equipment out and have to stop what I'm doing run go grab equipment bring it inside so I just went ahead and drove on and I figured I'd just show you the end result so there it is uh, kind of glad it rained and all I did was just attach them to the uh, these three and a half by eights with uh, these cattle staples or uh, they some kind of staple or you staple or something like that so it turned out pretty good what you over there making all that noise I know you ready for your new home ain't you ain't you you know right midnight crazy girl anyways back to this over here so what I did was and this is just a, a four by fence or gate and what I did was some of this this cattle panel it actually went all the way across and I had a four foot piece left over so what I did was I just took that cattle panel and attached it to this this gate using none other than zip ties so uh, midnight and any of the other goats won't be able to get through these these holes right here so that was pretty cool it worked out real good and as far as these poles i'm actually a real big fan of the old school way of securing these these uh these poles and i use the method uh, called tamping and what it is is i actually dug a 16 foot hole right here or not a 16 foot hole but a two foot hole right here dropped the pole leveled it up leveled the pole off on all the way around and i took all of the uh, dirt that i got out of the hole and used it to tamp it back down into the hole as you can see it rained uh pretty good yesterday so this thing is pretty sturdy as time goes on uh, these poles will be really sturdy uh, they sturdy now but hey punky all of those poles that you see there and those are telephone poles creosote poles that I sunk and every single one of them on my pasture for the horse were all done the same way uh, hand tamped in with the red dirt that was dug out of the hole I used a uh, old tamping pole and just tamped it on down back into the hole to secure the poles so I'm a real big fan of using the old school traditional traditional method of doing that and they are in there pretty good so and I just kind of eyeballed these T poles you know there's one over there I just kind of eyeballed it to get them going but they they pretty solid I think it worked out pretty good now what I will tell you is Worked out real good, actually. Just run this uh, latch through there. 
kind of like that. Uh, just there we go. Gate in place. Now, what I will tell you is the reason why I went with these cattle panel. They're kind of on the expensive side, but they're kind of multi-purpose. If ever I decide to extend this another 16 foot yonder way, all I have to do is just get two more of those panels and actually take off that back panel and just move it back 16 feet, which is what I may end up doing. I'm thinking that I like goats and I'm probably gonna give me a bunch more goats because I just like goats. So this, uh, and I wanted to show y'all, I wanted to video uh, me doing the work to build this thing up, but Lord and mercy, it was raining. It just is what it is. It's gonna work out okay for two goats, but eventually I'm gonna have to extend this thing a little bit longer and actually um, I may go out 32 more feet. I don't know, we'll just have to see. The only thing left that I have to do is build a house uh, or some kind of structure uh, that the goats can get into to shelter them from the wind and the rain, stuff like that, because Ghosts don't like to get wet. So I'm going to work on that maybe this week, hopefully, if nothing else fails. Lord, I've been busy as I'll get out. So I want to show you all this. It's pretty dang cool. Maybe uh, somebody that's uh, thinking about getting some goats, maybe this will give you uh, a few ideas on maybe to build you a little goat pen, maybe. Uh, that's what I did over the weekend. That's what I done did over the weekend. It was like a bunch of work, uh, especially doing it by yourself. Yeah, give me a second, midnight, I know. I'm gonna feed you in a second. Um, they heavy duty panels, so this should last a long time. And if I, if I ever take this, uh, this goat pin down, I could certainly repurpose uh, those panels and use them for something else, but I don't really see myself taking them down. Only thing I really see myself doing is extending it, giving me a little bit more room. Y'all, I wanna show you that. Show you what I done did over the weekend. If you liked the video, Give it a thumbs up. The thumbs up really helped me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the Home and Sticks channel, think about it. Sure, I'm gonna like some new folks come over here and visit me. Just so I can show you what I'm doing over here. And uh, with that being said, you know it's coming, y'all. Don't let nobody do you shine now. And I mean nobody. You get your shine on. And we will see you and y'all in the next video.